We're on a crazy flank here. What is this? I'm loving it. This is a crazy, cra big, big hook. Just go. Use your ult. Just ult him. Destroy Hanzo. I hate him. Destroy him. Ult him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Stylosa and this is Overanalyzed. And yes, look at my hair. It is terrible. This is because the times that we live in, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot get your hair cut. Now, I was tempted. I was tempted to wear my... I've got like an Overwatch 2 hat. I was going to wear my Overwatch 2 hat, but I ain't digging it, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to just chill because this is the reality. All right, then. So today, this is a huge video, an actually huge video. Check this out. <laughs> that's a There we go. I was going to say that's a black screen. <laughs> it's a huge video for one reason. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Overwatch on Switch. This is a top... 500 player on switch this is literally uh, i want to say unheard of it, it i've never seen i have never seen switch footage of this game and this player is top 500 so let's just play this as we break down the email and it says this hey Sty, i am a top 500 tank player on switch and i was wondering if you could help me with my overall gameplay as i know i can still improve now the interesting thing with switch and this is something we kind of need to get out of the way before we get into this video is because it has probably got the smallest player base out of any platform for overwatch the sr levels are way lower for each rank bracket so what we've got is a top 500 player here that is diamond 3150 that is top 500 on Switch. Now, I think on Xbox and PS4, it's higher than that, right? I believe it's Master. At least it was last time I checked. You guys correct me in the comments below. I know of GM players on PS4, for example. So, Switch, yeah. So, this player is saying, look, Sty, I don't know why. Uh, let's get on board with him. So, it's Penguin. It's the Roadhog player, uh, and that would be F12. All right, cool. Uh, as I totally forgot, the, totally forgot all the controls. All right, so, yeah. Top 500 uh, on, on Switch. This is going to be really interesting to watch. What they do ask for, though, is specifically they're very low on, the, on their other consoles. So they only get to plat. So that kind of shows you that this might be a plat Xbox player or P PS4 player. But actually on Switch, because the player base is lower, they're actually a top 500. Or they're just better at playing on Switch. Now, the heroes that I've played are Roadhog and Zarya in this clip. So we're not going to see Hammond where you can use the gyro controls, because maybe, you know, you're just, you would be better with the gyro controls. That might be something I could have said, but I don't know. So this is going to be really interesting to watch. And it's awesome. I can watch this back on PC. I look at the way it moves. What? Look at the way it moves. This is like really odd. Okay, let's just go back. Let's, let's over, we're going to overanalyze now and not look at the way it moves. Right, okay. So we're going in first. Look at our team comp. Our team comp is... Okay, I mean, like, we could hammer the team comp here and say it's not very strong for pushing on Horizon first point because we don't have any really good barrier or anything to sustain a push. Yes, we've got Sigma. Yes, we've got you on Hog, but it's a bit like, mm. they've got a Reinhardt. They've got a Zarya. They've actually got a pretty nice setup here. They've got a Symmetra as well. Anyway, you're pushing in. So the first thing you're doing is you're walking in. You're using your heal, which is fine because we had half HP. I'll take it. It's fine. And then we just completely, like, we see the guy on the high ground, the Reinhardt, and then we just YOLO up the stairs. Now, typically, this means you're dead. Like, you're actually dead at any kind of passable level of Overwatch here. However, this Reinhardt goes to charge you, which is brain dead. Completely brain dead of that Reinhardt. You hook him, but then you're smashed into a wall, and then you're forced away, and it looks like you're probably going to die, or at least you sort of manage to pull out of that there. But that there is very aggressive positioning. And I always say in Overanalyzed, okay, it's fine, be aggressive. But what would have been the better play here would have been, imagine if your Sigma has his barrier in front of you before you made the initial push. Instead of you just walking straight up the stairs like, hey guys, I'm going to get you. And then throwing a hook and then getting charged into a wall. And frankly, it was very lucky that you actually survived as long as you did. All right, let's take a look at what you do. So the barrier's gone in front. This is fine. We're going to go forward. The whole team are together. So this is nice. I like to see this. Super cool. All right, you're at the back. Again, this is fine. Pushing forward, pushing forward, pushing forward, pushing forward. Now, let's jump back on board because I want to see what you're looking for here. Because obviously, there's a couple of juicy hook targets we could get. Okay, hooks off cooldown. Can we get loose here? We do. Nice kill. And then we drop down onto the point. Okay. Take the heal. We're forced off the point. So let's just look at this, right? This, again, is... This doesn't really matter 
what platform you're on. This just straight up comes down to like lack of awareness of where you are. In Overwatch, you get a high ground position. It is a very, very strong position to stay in. And watch what happens here, right? So you're moving around, moving around. In fact, what I will say, it doesn't say here how you're controlling the game. It doesn't say if you're using like the pro controller. Um, I don't have my Switch in here, I don't think. No. Um, yeah, but it doesn't say if you're using your pro controller or you're using the... Uh, you've actually got it docked or, or what. I don't know. Or touch controls. I don't know. I'd, I'd hazard that you are using... Maybe the Joy-Cons put into the, you know, the adapter. I don't know. Anyway, good high ground position. Like, look how stupid this looks when we move out here, right? Why are we, like, why have we decided to jump off here into this mess down here? Like, what can we achieve down here that we can't achieve up there? Well, down here, if we stay there, we can only get hit by Hanzo, right? So there's only Hanzo who's going to spam arrows into us. Zarya, like, a, be a beam physically cannot reach you there. Look, it ends. But you're like, yeah, yeah, give me the beam, and you're jumping in. You want the beam. Look at what you could have done on this point. You could have cleared these two turrets off, maybe got a ch another cheeky hook, played a little bit safe, spam some right clicks or whatever the alternate fire is, because this is pretty much alternate fire range here. Instead, we do this, we jump down, we take a bunch of damage, get out of the way, tire. A, a bunch of damage, we're forced to disengage, and it's, uh, it's not very pretty, and we're taking loads of damage off Symmetra. We haven't actually done anything, and then we get cleaned up. So you can, can you see... I was just remaining on this high ground position here would have allowed you to maybe primary fire the turret there. Uh, if there was a turret there, maybe get that. But still, you could have just used alternate fire on this point, hit those targets, your hook comes back up, go for a cheeky hook, then you could commit if you needed to. Very little simple basic thing, but this, this idea of being like pulled into a fight, I never, ever, ever understand it. I never understand that. It's just, it blows my mind. All right, what are our team doing? So there's a bit of a strong push going around the left-hand side. Uh, Ultimate-wise, we've got nearly a Genjo online. We've nearly got beat. You've nearly got your ulti. Um, yeah, what are, we, what are we looking to do here? Nice little cheeky hook. Should we have to finish that off? Unlucky. We don't want to get too greedy. Look at the kill feed. Always be aware of the kill feed, right? We need to disengage here. We've lost two people. We're not... We need to heal. Okay. Okay, so this... We need to get out, right? We actually need to get out. I, I mean, I'm going to disconnect from you here, but I'm pretty sure... You're about to get pushed, or you should get pushed. No, it looks like you're going to be lucky, actually. You still have time to disengage. All right, it looks like our Sigmas came back and helped us. But we've got to be we have to be really careful here. I mean, look at just look at this. The whole enemy team is there. Where is our team? We know they're dead. Look, at they're over here. We know they are dead. We cannot stay where we are and expect not to get pushed. We've got to pull back. Our Sigma needs to get out of there as well. We are really split, like our Reaper. I don't know what he's trying to do. That Reinhardt's crazy on the enemy team. I don't know what he's trying to do either. Who knows? Destroy the turret! Yes! Thank you. Cheeky hook. Okay, now just back off. Just chill. Just chill. We just chill here. We just chill. We're waiting for hook. Okay, look at this guy. Crazy. Hit him with some primary fires. Just get rid of the bubble. Just destroy it. Can we hook him through? Hook him. We could have hooked him there. We're going to go back because we could have hooked him. Because we could have hooked him to save our Reinhardt. I'm not saying it would have saved him entirely, but it would have kept him alive. Remember, when you hook him, he's going to be crowd controlled as he gets pulled towards you. So we destroy this turret. I do like it. This, okay, not too bad. Look at our health. Do we actually need to heal right now? Can we just wait a few seconds? Is it worth healing? I mean, that's up in the air, right? It's only a little bit of a cheeky heal. Ah, I, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. So here, this Reinhardt is brain dead. He's going in on our Sigma. Our Sigma is in a really bad position anyway. So he knocks him forward. We go for some uh, secondary fires in. Now we can hook him. Instead, we go for another primary fire, and then, our, then he dies. Now we are screwed. There are three players pushing us. We cannot stay here. We don't have DPS to destroy the Reinhardt, and so we've got to disengage, which you are doing, which I'm loving. I'm loving the fact you're doing that. So game sense-wise, it's there. And we see this a lot. You see it, like, all the time in Overanalyzed, where players will make a bad decision, but then make a good decision. All Overwatch is about is making a good deci a decision more often than not. It's about trying to get your win rate up to that 50% marker and try and get into like 51, 55, 60%. We'll be incredibly high for Overwatch. All right, so we're on the side here. Um, we've won this fight. We've won this fight now. They do have ultimates available. So we have got our whole hog. And there is something I've got to categorically say about this. When you use whole hog, you are very, very vulnerable as Reinhardt, to, uh, as um, Roadhog, to a ton of crowd control effects. Here, what could the enemy team do to you, right? If you popped your ulti. Not too much, but do we need to use it, right? This is the thing we're going to have to watch. I just want to watch the screen and see what you do. Because I don't, I mean, we clearly don't need to use it because we've killed the whole enemy team. And you have kept it, which is good. And we've destroyed that. Okay. Okay. So at the moment, like, this is fine. But our team comp is bad. Because we don't really have a barrier. 
right? We've got a Sigma, but it's not really... It isn't... It's really difficult. Like, one thing I just want to like, kind of expect... This is like Overwatch in a nutshell, right? Look at my hair. It's so bad. I look like what's a face from Dumb and Dumber. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what was I trying to say? It's because I got distracted by seeing my preview on the camera there. Um, whatever, just play. I've totally forgot. Play, 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 play. Full screen. Yeah, ah, full Diego. I forgot what I was going to say. No, I've remembered. I remembered. Yeah, you've got to be aware that you. Well, like it's yeah, right. It it is super difficult because in times like this. You, you have just took the point. So there's, there'll be players out there saying, well, Stai, team comp doesn't matter, right? We just, this guy and this comp have just taken that point. The issue is, if we had a Reinhardt instead of the Sigma or instead of the Roadhog, our team would be able to get in easier and we've got a higher chance of winning. I'm not saying there is a bad comp because necessarily there isn't bad comps in Overwatch because you have, you do have the forced roll queue in effect and it's been in effect for a while. So you know you will get supports and you will get tanks, but there are things you can do to make it easier. And that's where you get a lot. That's where a lot of the advice comes from. And, you know, throughout the years of Overwatch, you'd see people say like, oh, hey, Torbjorn's terrible. Like, you know, I would have said this or Hanzo was terrible. And then people would be like, well, hey, actually, look at this guy. He's top 10 in the world and he plays Hanzo or he plays Torb. And it's like, yeah, it is. It is doable because that's the nature of Overwatch. Anyway, we're on a crazy flank here. What is this? I'm loving it. This is a crazy, crazy, big, big hook. Just go, use your ult. Just ult him. Destroy Hanzo. I hate him. Destroy him. Ult him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I am loving it. That's what I like to see. We're going in deep. We're smashing this area. Don't be afraid to pop Zarya's bubble, honestly. Nice hook. Beautiful push. We need to get rid of this Lucio. Get rid of this Lucio. That's it. Primary fire. I'm loving it. Cheeky hook him if you can. Oh, no. No. Spam heal, heal, heal. Nice. Hook this guy to stop him attacking. Hook the hook the Reinhardt. Okay, what are we what are we firing at? How are we losing this fight? How are we losing this fight? 2 CP. When are Blizzard gonna ban this mode from the goddamn game? It's soul crushing. It destroys me. Come on, Blizz, what are you doing? <laughs> right, let's just take a let, let's just pause here. Let's go and get an aerial view, because this is turning into a mega, actual mega cluster. Alright, let's go. Let's chill. Let's go. Do it. Give it me. Give it me, Hog. Give it me. Okay, Big B, we, we've got to have won this now. We've won it. We've got to have won it. So is the, all we're looking to do now is they come onto the point is just hook them and destroy them. Okay, we see him. We're going to hook him. Nice. Destroy him. Destroy him. Destroy him. Nice. <laughs> That's it. Beautiful. We got it. No way to get back. Huge. Okay. Actually huge. Nice. Nice. Nice use of the ulti as well. The reason why I was screaming and shouting for it is because what? maybe this is something that a lot of players don't do as well. And you could argue this is easier to do on the Switch because... The screen's smaller, right? So if you're using it in handheld mode, you'll, you can see the whole screen easier. But what I do is I, I react to the kill feed certain times. So you can see out of the corner of your eye. So if I was playing Hog there, and the reason why I started screaming and shouting, like, just alt the guy, is because I know we have got kills. Because I can see it in my peripheral vision. So I'd be playing like, oh, yeah, yeah, kills are coming through. I'm like, oh, ulti, I'll just get rid of this guy. The faster we kill them, the, the, the closer together we kill an entire team on the defensive or, or on any point, on, especially on the final point, actually, of 2CP, the better for us because we need them all dead to capture the point to stop them trickling in, trickling in, trickling in. That's why I was screaming and shouting. But just try and be aware of that bit of peripheral vision there. Like I said, on the Switch. Cool. It is weird, though, how this does stutter. It, this might be some sort of an... Inter you know what this might be? I bet you this is some sort of interaction between the fact that Switch, at least when I played Switch... A lot of the time, it was optimized for, I want to say, 60 FPS. But sometimes it would drop. It would really drop to, like, 20 FPS. And maybe that's what's happening here, and it's trying to, like, I don't know. I just don't know. Because, I mean, this is playing back on my system. In fact, I'm only getting 100 FPS right now. Anyway, what's going on? Maybe my system's destroyed. Anyway, switch. Love it. All right, so cheeky port to the high ground. This is uh, very ballsy. Problem we've got, though, right, is I want to ask you why you were playing Zarya. I, I legit want to ask you now, why have you swapped from Hog to Zarya? How can we charge effectively based off our team comp here? We can't. There is no possible way. Because look, look at the Sigma, right? See, skill levels are all platform specific in some ways, right? If I played on Switch, I would be absolutely trash because I wouldn't really be able to aim. I don't use controllers. I use this, right? With this, I'm fine. But with controllers, I am actually terrible. It's just because when I was growing up as a kid, I, I 
I had a PC. I didn't really have games consoles. So I did have games consoles, but I didn't really play them as much. So in that way, you're a better console or Switch player than I'll ever be. But you are making a ton of mistakes here that can be easily fixed. And when I look at stuff like the team comp, it is glaringly obvious that we are, we're basically playing the wrong hero here. We should not be on Zarya. We can just, we, we should have just stayed on the hog, right? We would get more value on the hog because how are we going to charge our damage here? Like, what are we going to do? Put it on Sigma. It's not going to work. Sigma is behind his barrier. If we had a Reinhardt, then yeah, sure. Little decisions win games of Overwatch. See what, look at our, in fact, just look at the charge. We'll watch the charge throughout this phase. 10. I mean, it was a terrible shield. It was a really delayed shield. We could have shielded earlier there and got more charge. But what are we doing here? Like, we're in the back line? I mean, that was lucky. It was one HP, that guy. Okay, they're spamming into us. We're getting a few cheeky shots. What are we doing? Walking back to the point. The fight's behind us. See, that sums it up there. Look at this, right? We've shielded him. I mean, he is about to get knocked by the Reinhardt, so you are going to get a bit more charge. But look, you've barriered. You, you've basically put your bubble on him, and his barrier is there. So what's happening is, is his barrier absorbs all of the damage that would be going onto, well, our Reinhardt. If he was a Reinhardt, and we would get then get charge, then we could apply that charge back to the enemy team. So the Zarya is just not a great pick here. And I know a lot of this is just focused on the fact that it's a pick and not, you know, straight up like the minutiae of coaching this hero because it is just a weird pick. It's not really a good pick at this moment in time. But let's come off that now and just take a look more at the mechanic of play and what's going on. All right, we should we should just push into them. Bubble, we should bubble. We need to bubble. Thank you. Yeah, nice kill. Turn around. We need to kill a Reaper. Unlucky. They were pushing strong on the point there and we were kind of losing momentum. So, hey. But the fact is, they have got a much better tank lineup than us. We do not have a comparable tank lineup. So I'm worried now. I'm really worried that we're just going to get rolled over here because if they get on the point, what are we going to do? We do have the Symmetra that could help us with... Um, actually, was it our Symmetra at the point? I thought they'd tell you on the point. Lost. Guys, 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 guys. New defense point. That's not the button I press. I have been playing a game that I can't talk about for like... about 34 hours <laughs> over the last uh, three days. I'm mentally boomed. More on that coming in the future. Follow twitch.tv forward slash stylos. <laughs> right. Let's go. <laughs> I really need a haircut. I look terrible. <laughs> yes, love. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. So uh, the point I was going to make is let's focus on some mechanical stuff. And how can we charge our weapon up? Well, we can eat fire strikes. And you did it. I like it. Uh, what is this guy doing? So he's charging in. Yeah, he's a bit mad. We don't really want to be on the front line too much here because we don't have our bubble available. And we could, like, bubbling our team here is not going to get us value, so we're not going to do it. But as soon as this barrier drops in front of us, we want to bubble what, any one of these guys. I don't care because we're going to get some value off that. This is okay, actually. We can, yeah, that's okay. But can you see what I'm saying about the charge rate? You are just simply not getting charged. The enemy team, well, they've got a, they've got a Pharah now. They've actually got a Pharah, so this could work into our hands. Yeah, they did have a Symmetra. I thought they had a Symmetra. It's a player called Symmetra. So bubble there, okay, on the front line. The Pharah, though, is in the point doing loads of work. Very, very kind of you there to charge up the Zarya. Now, I don't mind focusing on bubbles when we know we can secure a kill, but if we can't, don't do it. Zarya bubbles are dead simple. They absorb 200 damage and then they disappear. But they also give her charge and it's a maximum of 40 per bubble that she will get. So if she's got her own on, she can get 40 off that. If she's got a projected barrier, she'll get 40 off that. It's a total of 80. It's impossible to get 100 charge. I remember when it used to be back in the day, it was glorious, blah, 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 and all that stuff. Anyway, that there was just a pointless use of it because you've basically given her like 20 charge there that she's now going to use to spam your team with. Somehow, Farah has died. We need to... How has Farah died? We need to find this out. How has their Farah died from some Metro? What is this Farah doing? This is this is like big brain. <laughs> what is going on? Uh oh dear. Okay then, that was a the thing that happened. <laughs> You know what that is? That's because it's so it's so difficult to move, isn't it? So you're just sort of moving really slow and you're just dying to Torres. Torres, Blizzard, you need to fix Symmetra. 
on this. This is this is a joke. 100 charge. Let's go. We've almost got a grab. Are you gonna like YOLO the grab into the? I just, I just, I, I just believe it. Just grab him. Just do it. Just grab the pillar. Just grab that pillar, and then just wreck them. We've got 100 charge. Grab him. Go on. Do it. Do it. Right, don't do it now. Don't do it now. Yeah, don't do it now. Right, okay, so let's actually talk serious here. So we do have a combo here. We can, um, I guess we could, well, we could like grab Sigma them, <laughs> which would be spicy. Uh -huh. I guess that's the only kind of thing we could do. But the good news is we've got a Junkrat. So even when we do grab them, there should be a ton of spam damage. And they're like really spamming us now. They've got a Bastion. Again, what is it? What is it with these Bastions? What is it with these games? But like... I know this is diamond on console, but like if this is on, I mean, if we if we work as PC as being like the, I don't know that the it's got the best SR range or the, uh, that's not even fair to say that. But if let me, I've got to make this point. So if we work on, let's just say a master player, no, let's say a diamond player on PC is a platinum player. This is just anecdotal as well, but let's just roll with it. So diamond player on PC um, would be a platinum player. No, a no, this doesn't even make sense. A platinum, just forget it. Forget what I'm trying to make. I don't even know what point I'm trying to make here. I've just, I've actually lost my mind. I don't even know what I'm watching. I've lost my mind, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, just do it. Just grab him. Oh, this, that's big. That's massive. So the only, the only combo is going to happen. This is massive. Massive. Right, we're going back. We're, we're, no, we're not going back. Screw it. What's the point? It's just a junk that ripped tie that went in. I like it. I like it a lot. But what I don't like is we also use that Sigma ulti there. Now, this might be a voice comms issue. I don't even know if voice comms works on the Switch. I guess it does. I don't know. But what's he doing just standing there? They want to just stand there, push forward, get your barrier on, spam damage, right click. We need more right clicks off you. Spam damage into them. Like, at this choke here, the way our team are playing so offensively, it's fine to keep bubbling here, but this really shouldn't be working. This is weird that it's working. Now, think about ultimates that are online, right? Yes, we've got the power of the replay system above our head so we can see that reinhardt's got his shatter but we that is what i'm worried about we cannot actually stop that unless sigma gets a very very juicy barrier to block it it's gonna be very hard so here comes a strong push off them nice bubble we've got to keep pressure on this front line yeah we're getting pushed back but we can kill we can kill her like we don't need to be frightened of her there because we know we've got 100 charge we could have lasered her down again i'm not too sure how easy or difficult it is to aim on console on on this on the switch this is so cool, though, seeing Switch gameplay. What is that Bastion doing? That was, yeah, that was the point I was trying to make. We did a PC game, didn't we, last week? And the Bastion, it was like a bronze game. And, and, and they do the Bastion trick. So, like, using that as anecdotal evidence, this is a Switch game and it's like a top 500 game. And there's a Bastion. Is, it, is this literally equivalent to bronze? I mean, it can't be because you are telling me you play Platinum on... I just don't even know. It's just such a mess. But you can't compare the ranks on different platforms of Overwatch. It is just completely different. It is actually completely different. So if you are top 500 on console, any of the consoles, you are still a good player, right? That is fine, right? Like I said, I can't, I couldn't, I could not play at the level I play at on PC, on console. I just simply couldn't. I would be terrible. Much like Blizzard's balancing of console Overwatch, which apparently is absolutely terrible as well. Right, what is this fashion doing? What is he doing? I mean, we can just keep spamming them. Just keep spamming them. Just, we don't need to back off here. We can just keep spamming the chokes. Keep spamming, keep spamming, keep the spam coming. That's it. Well, you know, be a bit more accurate. Aim up a bit more so we get a bit more, you know, elevation. There we go. Just keep it coming. Fine. I don't mind it. I mean, yeah, we've got grab. So, you know, we're not really after ultimate charge. But I don't care. Just keep, keep the spam going. You know, if they, if they start an engagement and they've got low, they'll push her. Don't charge her. Don't charge a barrier. So, in a 1v1 with a Zarya, there's a few very simple things that you need to look for. When they bubble, do not shoot them. Because that charge is what will win the fight. Okay, we don't need to invest our ultimate into this. We've got the sim ult down, it's fine. We can just we, Again, like look at the range they're giving you here. Like they're giving you free range here, the back line. Just stay on this high ground, keep spamming away. We didn't necessarily need to do that, but we do actually, you know, maybe you are working with the, the Junkrat here, because Junkrat is going in with Riptire again. But oh that is just massive. So this is this is huge. This is, I don't think you say in the in the Yeah, you don't say in the video why, um, that if you guys are working together or what. But twice that's happened. Too much of a coincidence. Unless the Junkrat is just reacting to you grabbing, which he could be. Um, 
Yeah, so this is like a difficult one, really, to be honest. Like, it, you know, you are at the highest level of this platform. And the way to make you even better is... We're going to eat that? No, we're a bit... Too, well, we didn't... We could have actually ate that. We should have done. Um... I mean, stuff like, you know, we always go back to the game knowledge and, and the, the Overwatch brain. That's a nice kill. And we're kind of fine. Just, this is just clean up. We just do whatever. I'm not really too bothered with this. But, you know, we always come back to the, the idea of the Overwatch brain and, and what would be the best for any given time. And this team comp is, is not great. Uh, you could have picked a, a better hero. The enemy team, though, are feeding you like crazy. And again, we see a lot of this in Overanalyzed where somebody, you know, plays a, a, a suboptimal hero on paper, but does quite well because the enemy team are not actually adapting to it. Whereas I would have said out of the two heroes you said you play, Roadhog and Zarya, that Roadhog would have been the more effective hero to play, simply because it's going to be hard to get charged. But the enemy team are giving you a lot of opportunities to get charged. So be, be aware of the Reaper. That's fine. Just push him away. Now, we, need, we need to be worried about this Reaper because... Okay, well, not if he does that, though, and just walks into the point and feeds his brain out. <laughs> I guess we're just trying to keep the point alive, but yeah. Oh, it's cool. Okay, we win. Nice rip tire again. This has been really interesting. Let's just, let's just go back a few seconds so I can just roll in the background while we talk. Yeah, this has been interesting, guys. I think... I feel like I've watched... It's really difficult, right? You've got to remember a lot of my experience. Like, well, all of my experience is straight up... Um, let's go back a bit further. It's straight up PC, right? So this looks really slow to me. Not slow in, in the way the games play, but just in the way... It's really, it's really hard for me to make comments on this without sounding like a massive twat. Because I want to say this legit looks like some sort of low silver gameplay. Bronze, silver or something. It doesn't look very good to me at all. But that's because I'm comparing it to PC. However, on Switch, this is top 500. This is the reality. God knows what bronze looks like on Switch. <laughs> Somebody, no, I need to see it. I need to see it. Right, pause, pause the replay. I need to see it. If you have got bronze Switch gameplay, send it me. I want it. On that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the video at that. I, I, I am I'm mentally boomed. I'm actually mentally boomed. Hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Remember to keep washing your hands as well. I've got my uh, hand sanitizer. Ooh. And uh, catch you guys on the next one. Toodaloo. <laughs> Oh, I'm not even going to edit that out. I'm not even going to edit it out. Whatever, guys. Hello, you're still here. I'm trying to end the video. <laughs>